Hey guys, what's up? Raston. Um, I was going to start this off with like an annotation that uh, I'm sorry if this offends anyone or upsets Beyonce's fans, but I sincerely doubt that Beyonce's fans um, intermingle with people who watch my videos. I don't think those two circles are going to interact very well uh, or intersect, but you never know. You might have a fucking outlier. So, um, to that person, sorry, um, I don't think Beyonce is a shithead, um, but I seriously don't give a shit, um, about her personal life, uh, everyone's eyes are filled with tragedy, and before we go into that, let's sort of reference what we're talking about. Unlike most of the people who complained about Lemonade, which is Beyonce's sort of experimental fling, uh, whatever the fuck. Um, I actually did watch the whole thing. I do not know why. I have no idea why I sat through the whole hour. Um, I guess it was because it was on before Game of Thrones. Um, and I didn't care too much about it. But I sort of understood what she was trying to do. Um, and I kind of couldn't get over the whole thing about her being... And I've still never sort of gotten over the fact that Beyonce was in Destiny's Child. Beyonce was in a shitty girl band group. Beyonce is pretty much that still. I know that now she's elevated herself to some sort of pop icon status. Um, who is roaming around green fields and flowers with yellow dresses on and daisies in her hair now. And we've somehow got to believe that Beyonce Knowles is anything less than that chick who was in Destiny's Child. Now, don't get me wrong, she was the talent in Destiny's Child, but she was still just a chick in Destiny's Child. Um, Lemonade was... And, and it's not uncommon for bands or artists to do this kind of thing where they let out some sort of experimental piece and they create a visual album and, and it the effort itself is not to be shit on, but I just didn't fucking care. In the same respect that um, people got flack for saying they didn't give a shit the Prince was dead. I liked Raspberry Beret. That was kind of like the only song the Prince had that I actually gave a fuck about. I really didn't give a fuck that he was a weird motherfucker, which apparently he was. Um, but yeah, I don't give a shit the Prince is dead either. In all honesty. And I wouldn't expect people to mourn if uh, my favorite artist popped his clogs. And somebody made a YouTube video going, you know what, I don't care that he's fucking dead. I really don't. Okay, you don't care. And in the same respect, they're entitled to their opinion and they're entitled to say that. Beyonce's Lemonade felt like a fucking honeypot. It, it, it almost felt like it was made, even though it obviously wasn't, just to attract shitheads on the internet um, to talk smack about her. And if if you're going to talk shit, fine. I'm about. I'm gonna do it right now, or rather, I am. I didn't care. Uh, it, it, I'm just gonna lay it out. Beyonce is a fucking pop artist who made a pseudo deep, hour long special, whinging. Like uh, Beyonce's entire musical career is whinging. That's it. She's she's the poster child for every single person who got themselves into a shitty situation and then threw a pity party about it afterwards. Like, let's imagine you go out with somebody, a man or a woman, um, and they're clearly indicating to you that they're dipshits and assholes in the beginning of the relationship, and then you get kind of surprised when the relationship ends and they're still dipshits and assholes, or rather they got even worse. That's kind of Beyonce's music. There's been, like, a, a, a couple of songs that she's had that have, like, been pretty celebratory. There's actually a really nice song um, whose name I don't remember because, again, I, I actually do listen to a lot of pop music, weirdly enough. Like, I, I kind of listen to the radio sort of all day long, and I like to listen to a lot of EDM, but so I kind of hear Beyonce in rotation kind of regularly. And throughout her entire musical career, Beyonce has spent it whining crying about her ex-boyfriends, etc. Now, it's entirely common for musical artists to make mu to make content that is 
uh, about relationships. In fact, love is one of the great themes of music. But Beyonce's entire career is her pissing and whinging about men. And there are people out there, sort of specifically women, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to say it, who listen to that kind of music all day and spend all their time pissing and whinging about men. It's like you set fire to your hand and then cried about why was my hand burned. That's kind of how I view all of this content. Um, Lemonade was crap. Like I, I, I get what it was trying to do, um, but I can't see... I, I'm never going to be able to morph that plastic pop star out of the plastic pop star role and take her as like some sort of serious deep artist. I'm not going to give examples of, ser- of serious deep artists because I know for a fact I'm going to get shit on if I pick the wrong person. Like, I don't think John, Johnny Cash was a pop star in his a, it, during his day, but even then I don't think it was pop. Like, it wasn't pop. It's just a reality. Beyonce was a band member in a pretty shitty band called Destiny's Child. And actually, I'm not, I'm not even going to, like, take other people's feelings into consideration. Destiny's Child was a shit girl band. They're like the Spice Girls. They were a shit girl band. Just live with it, deal with it. It's shitty pop music, it was disposable, and it's disposable now. And in the same respect, Beyonce's music is also disposable now. Anyway, that's my five cents on Lemonade. I know it's a bit late, um, and this is a fucking totally unimportant video, but I don't give a shit. Lemonade, it was, it was trash. I didn't give a shit. It was her roaming around, swinging a fucking baseball bat at a car, going, He don't burn me. You mean like in every other song your boyfriend burned you? In every piece of music you've ever made, it's my boyfriend hurt my feelings. Or I don't need you anymore. It's kind of like that song, You're So Vain. You probably think this song is about you. The song was about him. It, it, it just, it's a kind of shitty ass content that appeals to basic motherfuckers who are whinging about their shitty life choices actually having ramifications. Don't date shitheads and you won't have to write a million songs for idiot motherfuckers who date shitheads. That's it. That's that's the real of it. Anywho, um, fuck it. I'm Ross Dunn. Peace.